Peace be to you. Today we reflect the parable of the marriage feast. Jesus gives this parable how one has to prepare to enter into the kingdom of God. There was a king who invited his guest. He also sent the invitation earlier. Now he sent his own servants to make them remember and come to the marriage feast. Here the king is personified as God. God has no necessity to invite the human beings, but out of his kindness he invites the human beings. Through his own prophets the marriage is ready, prepared, the dishes are so hot. So it signifies, tells us that the urgency of the kingdom of God, urgency of hearing the word of God, the people must hear the word of God urgently because God is going to come. So this urgency was taken very lightly by the people and they were so much careless about the invitation of God and the king. And finally he sent his sworn servants and soldiers to destroy them. And finally the story turns, makes a beautiful turning. Now the king ordered to pick up people from marketplaces, large areas, crossroads and asked them to come and fill the marriage hall. All the sinners and saints were invited. Usually in oriental cities, in the marketplace and in the crossroads, people who are called outcast of Israel, the tax collectors and all those people whose trades were considered as impure live over there. And now the order was to invite these outcast people. These sinners and the marriage hall was full. King came down to see and sought out some of the things. There he had seen a person without a marriage garment. For God's kingdom everyone is invited. Sinners, saints, everyone. Sinners are invited, but expected repentance. This is the marriage garment. Without repentance, the sinners cannot be admitted into the kingdom. So believers, people thought to themselves that they are, they, they are selected people and it is to warn their complacency. So we are invited to God's kingdom provided we repent from our sins. We come away from our habitual sins and evil thoughts, problems. So we are every day invited for the marriage feast, every day we are also expected of repentance. Let's pray.
Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Be with us, Lord. Strengthen us, heal us, Lord, for we are children. As we are invited for the marriage feast every day, give your grace, Lord, so that we may get repentant. We may come away from our, all our sins and worries from our unfaithful ways, Lord. Be with us, strengthen us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.